For this problem, we're going to solve the following system of equations. We're going to use the process of elimination. So first, we're going to multiply the first equation by 25 so that we have 25y squared plus 50y plus 50x plus 75 equals 0. Now we can subtract the two equations so that we have 4x squared minus 26x minus 114 equals 0. To make this easier, we're going to divide both sides by 2 so that we have 2x squared minus 13x minus 57 equals 0. Now we can factor the left side to be 2x minus 19 times x plus 3, which is equal to 0. Now we can see that x is equal to 19 halves, or negative 3. Now we're going to plug the x values into one of the equations to solve for y. For x equals 19 halves, first we can simplify the equation to be y squared plus 2y plus 21 equals 0. We're going to need to use the quadratic formula. So we have y equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 21, which is all over 2 times 1. Simplifying this, we get y equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 80 over 2. Since we have a negative number underneath the square root, there is no real solution for x equals 19 halves. For x equals negative 3, we can factor the left side to be y plus 3 times y minus 1 equals 0. Here we can see that y is equal to negative 3 or 1. Now that we have our x and y values, we can see that the intersecting points are at negative 3, negative 3, and negative 3, 1. And this is the solution to the problem. We can also graph the two equations and the solution points. The standard form for the first equation is x equals negative 1 half times y plus 1 squared minus 1. Using our knowledge of transformations, we'll get a parabola that looks like this. The standard form for the second equation is x plus 3 squared over 5 squared plus y plus 1 squared over 2 squared equals 1. This ellipse has a center at negative 3, negative 1 with a horizontal major axis of 5 and a vertical minor axis of 2. Using this, we'll get an ellipse that looks like this. Now we can see our solution points at negative 3, negative 3, and negative 3, 1. And this completes the problem.